Good evening, this is Dennis Hong coming from Winnipeg. I hope that uh, your week is so far being good. This is Tuesday and uh, some of us are still going strong, working every day, providing service to patients that and clients that need uh, our services. And I appreciate that uh, everybody that's still serving and working every day out there providing essential service. My gratitude to you and my love to you. Be safe. Be careful with it. Hi, Kevin. So, what is your heart telling your brain? And people will say, what are you talking about? Do you know that our heart actually communicate with our brain? every day. Actually, studies and science are show that our heart actually has independent nervous system that control itself. And so in science, hi Kelly, in science arena, it's actually even call it heart brain because it's the heart has the brain of itself. And the heart is actually sending signal to the brain throughout the day and the brain is also sending signal back to the heart. So heart and brain is constantly always communicating throughout the day. Um, the signal that comes from the brain to the heart, hey Mike, is to increase the heart rate, to reduce the heart rate, to control how fast the heart's going to go, how slow the heart's going to go. Uh, that's sort of the basic communication from the brain to the heart, but the heart actually, uh, based on the study, signal to the brain a lot more than the brain signal back to the heart. So in a sense that your heart is talking to your brain a lot more, uh, and those include your emotional feelings, gratitude, stress, anxiety, that whatever your heart is feeling, that it's telling your brain, the heart feel it first, and then tell the brain, and then the brain react uh, with these emotional uh, signal that come from the heart. And the other thing that we don't know a lot about is that our heart is the biggest energy production center, Hyron, in our body. And to the point that the energy that the heart produces, it's so strong that uh, it creates the electromagnetic field. So when you know we talk about we are energy, and hi George, we are energy and that, you know, we have the electromagnetic field around, surrounding our body and that is affected by, you know, Wi-Fi, cell towers, uh, microwave, all of that, uh, that electromagnetic field, hi Sam, that electromagnetic field is actually produced by your heart production of energy. And it's so strong to the point that it's actually circled 360 degree of your body. And it's, they have actually measured it. It's actually, three feet wide surrounding you. And so the heart is actually, uh, you know, one of the major, major uh, organ that controlling the whole body function with the brain. So when the heart feelings are, uh, you know, like mood, etc., is affected, you can actually uh, do the breathing technique. And that's what I've been doing meditation since March 1st, every day using this heart coherent techniques. So what you do, I will uh, share this. This is a simple basic technique that you can do. Even you can do it five minutes at least once a day. So you do uh, deep breathing, slow your breath down, but it's deep breathing, comfortable deep breathing in and out. As you got that rhythm going, then you concentrate on your heart and breathing it through in and out whenever you're breathing in whenever you're breathing out that you concentrate on your heart 
in a way that you're breathing through your heart. And that is the first thing. And then second thing what you do is that as you're doing this heart focused breathing, then you think about good feelings, gratitude, love. And within that five minutes, if you do that, your heart will uh, get coherent with your breathing, your heart rate, and not just that, but as you're doing it regularly, all your cellular function become coherent with your uh, heart rate and breathing, and then you get better energy, better mood, better focus. So I hope, you know, if you're having a uh, bad mood or whatever, then just stop for a about five minutes and try and do the breathing. You don't even have to close your eye to meditate. It's You can do it eye open. So try that. And then, uh, you know, if you can, uh, a couple of times a day, but at least once a day. I've been doing it once a day. Uh, every morning, as soon as I wake up, after I read my uh, verse of the day from my Bible and I share that, then my next thing I do is doing this uh, heart met, the heart rate coherent uh, medita uh, breathing and meditation, I am now up to about uh, 20 minutes a day. I started as a three minutes on March 1st. Now I gradually increase my duration to the point that now I am at the 20 minutes and I'm gonna try and keep it 15 to 20 minutes every day. And if you can do it every day, uh, according to HeartMath Institute, you need to do it regularly about six weeks to really train your whole body and whole system get into coherent. And if you can do that, you will notice that your stress response will be better, your digestive system will improve, your sleep will improve, and your focus will improve and your energy level will improve. Especially at this time, a lot of us are not going to work and we have a little bit of time, but then we are also, some of us are also stressed and anxious about all this COVID-19 stuff. So if you can incorporate that five minutes a day and see how that, you know, improve your response and your anxiety and your sleep, and uh, I hope that you will share that with me if you do that for a few days. Hi, uh, and hi, Leanne. Do that and then see how that goes. There are, of course, more advanced uh, heart met, uh, heart coherent breathing techniques that if you want to learn about it, definitely PM me. There's a couple of more way of more advanced of changing attitude and uh, you know, trying to get more intuition. You don't even have to breathe through the nose and mouth, just regular, uh, you know, breathing through the, your nose and breathing out the mouth, and uh, uh, just regular breathing through in and out of your nose. If you're trying to tell people that haven't done this, and you tell them, oh, breathe in from the nose and breathe out the mouth, that in it, uh, itself, can actually stress people out. And I can tell you from my own experience, when I first started doing these breathing technique and stuff, and then when I learned breathing in the nose, breathing out the mouth, I couldn't do it. I actually got hyperventilated. So initially don't do that, just normal breathing in and out. If you wanna be really advanced, yeah, there's, you know, breathe in four minutes, uh, count to four, hold four, Excel seven or eight, there's so many different techniques that it can spin your head. My goal is just people do five minutes, slow deep breath, focus on your heart, focus on happy thoughts. And I hope that this is helpful and this will, you know, hopefully will uh, relax a lot more people, improve uh, a lot more uh, cellular function and our brain function. Have a great evening.